Hi and welcome to this demonstration video. We're going to show you a test strip that is used uh, universally for screening uh, for cystitis or kidney infection. And kidney infection is obviously quite a, a common uh, condition uh, and one which can be, if untreated or undiagnosed, quite serious. So if it's a recurrent problem or you suspect kidney infection, it's quite a good idea to be able to uh, get a test for it pretty quickly. Now traditionally this is meant having to go along to your, your doctor with a sample of your urine and waiting for them to test it. Either as an immediate dip test to give them an indication of what's in it or sending it off to a laboratory for analysis. And we're going to concentrate on a couple of the parameters on this uh, eight pad test strip. Uh, and the particular ones of note when we're screening for uh, renal tract infection, cystitis or bladder infections is um, leukocytes, which are white blood cells, which wouldn't normally be present in urine, but are commonly there if there's a good going infection. We're also looking for the presence of protein, which again is an indicative marker, marker of uh, something going wrong with the, the renal tract. Uh, quite often in uh, a severe or established case, you'll also get the presence of blood. So by looking at those uh, key figures, uh, and also nitrites, which are again an indicator that something's going on in the urines. It will give you a good indication that something's not right. Now this test strip is a very easy to do test. Basically only takes uh, a couple of minutes to perform one of these tests. If I get one of the test strips out, you'll see how you hold it. There's an indicative handle uh, or hand marker on there. And if I just match that test strip up against those eight parameters, You'll see in addition to the ones that we're interested in today when we're screening for kidney infection or cystitis, bladder infections, it also screens for a range of other uh, parameters on this test strip. Now, it's important that you, when you've taken the test strip out, you, you check a few things before you're running your tests. One is that you put the lid firmly back on to keep the tests in good, good condition. When these tests are first delivered to you, you'll find that there's a security seal inside that black lid. It's important that that is firmly applied and hasn't been perforated because that's what keeps them environmentally protected and uh, as soon as these start getting moist you can get some deterioration in them so always put the lid back on. Next thing to check is the expiry date on the, the lot to make sure that you're testing within expiry. Now despite the expiry being very good on most of these test products again you, you do need to be aware that if they've absorbed moisture environmentally then they're not going to be in prime condition and may not be good to test. So if it comes out and doesn't match some of these parameters on, on that neg all negative test, with the exception of specific gravity, we would say buy some new tests. Because even if the expiry date is good, if they've absorbed too much moisture, then they've gone off. Manufacturer's recommendations on all urinary tract uh, and all urinary reagent analysis test strips is using within three months, ideally, of popping that seal. Beyond that, then they may still be in good condition, but they may not, so always check them before you do the test. And then when you're ready to test with your urine sample, just before we dip that, just take note of uh, the timings on these test strip parameters and the ones you're going to read. Here we're specifically looking at, uh, if you start with glucose, it starts in at 30 seconds from dipping, uh, blood at 60 seconds, protein around 60 seconds, same with nitrates, but leukocytes you're looking at 120 seconds, two minutes. So you do need to just glance at your watch or clock when you're uh, initially dipping this into a sample. I'm going to take that off camera now, dip it into a sample. And no, it doesn't have to be a, a really deep sample container that you dip these into. This test strip is lovely and flexible, so they can be bent round and just dipped, so all the pads uh, are dipped under the, the urine sample and then removed. Tap it gently to remove any excess urine. If you've got a bit of tissue or something you want to put this onto, that's a good idea because it will uh, absorb any excess fluid and stop uh, any leaching between the pads. But then you come in at your specified time, around 60 seconds, and you're looking uh, on this one, we're concentrating on the blood initially, and that's negative. As you can see, it's matching the negative pad. You move up then to the proteins at 60 seconds, again, negative, wouldn't indicate any problems. Nitrates, again, a nice whitish pad, no pink discoloration. And then we're waiting for a further 60 seconds for the development of any leukocytes. But you would start to see some colour change at this stage if that was the case. And I wouldn't expect these pads to pick anything up on this urine sample that we've dipped. Uh, so that is an all negative uh, result for, for this sample. 
as I say, the parameters that you're looking for for cystitis, bladder infections, kidney infections, they're all the same. Uh, you're looking for the presence of white cells, high nitrite levels, plus or minus protein, and possibly some blood in an, uh, uh, a well-going kelvus. So that is how to do a screen using a self-dip test if you suspect the possibility of infection in the renal tract.